Martin. Can we start by getting the team news ahead of tomorrow's match? Well, uh, we are of course still uh, Wilcher, Kazorlain, and uh, Gabriel out. Uh, and Arteta as well. Everybody else is available. Olivier, what's the mood like in the Arsenal squad? Um, we are very pleased to uh, come back to this um, Champions League um, um, game and uh, we, uh, we did uh, very well uh, in Olympiacos to uh, qualify. It was very hard. And um, yeah, we were looking forward to play uh, Barcelona because uh, it's maybe um, the best team in the world today. So we can measure us to uh, to them, and uh, um, we are going to play our game. Just finally, from me, already beaten by Munich this season. How much confidence will that give you going into this game? I think it will be a different game, but it's true that uh, we can uh, we can do very well in Champions League. But um, we just need to focus uh, and be a hundred percent all together with a good team cohesion. And uh, after, yeah, we will put uh, uh, what we need in this game with a lot of commitment, determination, and uh, obviously uh, this kind of game uh, against Bayern uh, need to help us to um, to hopefully win tomorrow. Arsene, hello. Um, in the last four seasons, your team have fought heroically in the second leg of this uh, last 16 tie to try and save what's always been a lost cause. Just how important is it that everybody's focused on making sure you're still in this tie after tomorrow night? Well, uh, you sum up well. Our last experiences uh, is that we can have a good opportunity to show that you have learned because. Uh, it's true that you gave ourselves a difficult task every time after the first home leg. And uh, maybe because we were a bit too keen to make the difference in the first game. And uh, therefore we have to find the right balance between uh, being audacious, because uh, that's what you will need to be against Barcelona. But as well, uh, as Olivier just said, the strong defensively as a unit and not put ourselves uh, in front of a very difficult task in the second leg. Do you feel this Arsenal team is better equipped than, say, the one <coughs> five and six years ago? Better equipped in the way that we have assembled experience and that these players play for a while together now. And uh, uh, I believe uh, all the players I have uh, are intelligent. So we have, a, we have all a good opportunity to show that we have learned. You lost any sleep at night working out how to try and stop uh, Messi, Suarez and Neymar? Uh, no, honestly no, because I know that uh, individually they have exceptional talent, but uh, the only way we can do it is uh, collectively, you know, by being uh, resilient, uh, having a great solidarity and intelligent as well. And uh, let's not forget uh, that uh, we have a good defensive record and uh, we have a great goalkeeper as well. <laughs> you told us on um, Friday that you are in favour of FA Cup replays. Is that mm -hmm. still the case? And do you think you might need some help from the footballing authorities so that you don't end up with a football with a fixture congestion problem? No, I do. I am still uh, exactly of the same opinion, you know. Uh, I believe uh, we have all big squads. I, I personally believe uh, every time uh, when I select my team, I have uh, a difficult problem to leave some players out with top quality. So I cannot complain. Uh, we are equipped to play in these kind of competitions. When the season starts, we know the rules. And we have decided to go for all the competitions and uh, we'll continue to do that. Um, we saw a couple of, of examples over the weekend, slightly disturbing incidents of coin throwing. Though. Yeah. It, is this a, a one-off as such, or do you think it could be part of a, a disturbing trend? I know you've talked before about... about I would say that uh, how I feel it, I feel that for years, people in the stands feel they can get away with everything. And uh, uh, the media played a little part in that. And uh, I believe uh, you insulted regularly from the stands and uh, without people having the feeling that they can be punished for it. And uh, so, of course, it goes always one step further. And uh, the incidents on, uh, over the weekend were, for me, a uh, uh, disgrace and not acceptable. You know, violence, uh, even if you pay your ticket, you can still respect people. And uh, I believe that is not, just not acceptable.
Olivia, um, just how much priority do the players give the Champions League? You're right in the thick of the title race. You could be the first mm -hmm. club in 130 years to win the FA Cup three times running. So where does the Champions League fit in all of this? Uh, as the boss said, we want to play every single competition, you know, and uh, we want to uh, keep uh, the FA Cup for us, uh, be to record, um, hopefully, uh, win it three times in a row. Uh, for the title race, we are still uh, in a strong position and we, are, we want to... Uh, to keep it up, um, but we have uh, big, uh, big games to come, so we will, uh, we will have time to focus on uh, on the Premier League, and yeah, tomorrow is Champions League, and it's always a um, big time for players to play this kind of game, especially against Barcelona. So we will uh, enjoy it and give uh, the maximum to um, uh, give uh, pleasure to our fans and uh, take a lot of pleasure as well on the pitch. And uh, why not win uh, win this game because we have the um, the quality for that. When you look around this squad, do you think it is strong enough that you can maintain <coughs> the challenge for three different competitions? Yeah, obviously they are favourites. Um, I mean, Champions League uh, against Barcelona, but um, yeah, we have a uh, good quality and good quantity this year, and even if uh, we had a lot of injuries. Uh, again this year, but uh, we we did well uh, during uh, a tough moment, uh, maybe uh, in the in the autumn, and uh, we have our players back, and uh, um, so we are we are very happy with that. Uh, for example, Danny make the difference uh, against against Leicester, sorry, and. Uh, I was re very pleased uh, for him, and yeah, we will need everybody. Uh, we have a strong squad, and we can. That's why we can play every competition. Could you give us an, an insight, Arsene, into how you prepare the team psychologically for a match like this against opponents like this? Well, honestly, I, uh, of course, the difficulty of a task is completely different, but it's more difficult to prepare against Hull uh, than against Barcelona. Because against Barcelona, everybody is focused uh, naturally, so um, it's more to uh, create belief, you know, and uh, confidence. Uh, because Barcelona is super favourite in this game against Tal, is more to keep uh, raise the urgency level and uh, convince everybody that it's a very difficult game. So tomorrow, everybody is convinced that we need absolutely to be at uh, as a whole squad. Uh, total fo totally focused to have a chance, and that's what uh, I try to to uh, raise that uh, belief, confidence, and uh, let's go for it. And do they have an Achilles heel, this Barcelona team? Of course, there is no team. Uh, our world is not perfect, and uh, no team is perfect. We are not far from it, Barcelona, I must say, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, we have to to use every moment in the game where we can, uh, uh, where we'll have a chance to score. And uh, as I said to you after the game against Hull, we had 70% of the time the ball. We didn't make a lot of it against uh, Barcelona. We'll have much less the ball, and we'll have to take to make more of it. I'd like to ask you, you faced Barcelona from Pep Guardiola twice, and now the first time with Luis Enrique. What's the big difference between them? And do you think that there is one of them that is stronger than another one? Well, uh, certainly offensively, uh, they have uh, top, top strikers at the moment. They, they look like uh, maybe they are a little bit uh, less possession than uh, when we played them the first time. Because I had the player in midfield like Savio, who had in every single game, he had over 100 passes and uh, he allowed them always possession. At, uh, at the moment, I think we have a team who can uh, use at any moment, can score. You know, even when they are dominated, they are still very dangerous. And uh, that happened, in fact, in the Champions League final last year against Juventus when it was 1-1. They were a bit suffering, but at one moment they could take advantage of any weakness to score the 2-1, and that's where they are dangerous. They can have a bit less possession, but they are maybe uh, quicker in transition. Do you, do you know Louis Enrique at all, or as, as a manager? I know him as a player because he played against us uh, at Wembley, and he scored against us, I think, uh, 
in the Champions League when I was a young boy. So uh, uh, I know him and uh, I think he has uh, done a remarkable job at Barcelona because he came there uh, with uh, a little bit of uh, scepticism around him and uh, he won the treble in the first year. So that's absolutely remarkable. Do you think, I know you've sat alongside your striker here, but are they the best front three in the world, do you think, at the moment? Messi, you know, They're well. the most efficient. And uh, uh, when you see the other day that Messi scored 300, his 300th goal in 340 games, uh, I've seen many, many strikers in my life, but I've never seen a record like that. And uh, of course, they are top, top class. as a fan of football, as well as a player, to not be overawed by the occasion of playing a team like Barcelona? Uh, it's part of the job, you know, um, when you play this kind of game, uh, yeah, you need to be focused on um, on, uh, on the game, uh, basically, and forget um, maybe the, the importance of the game. Even if uh, I used to say that when we are not favourite, so we can uh, put the pressure out maybe um, off our shoulders, but Anyway, we will uh, we will want to do um, um, very well in front of our fans and uh, for this first leg. Sorry, because uh, as long as I am here, we um, we struggled a bit uh, on the first leg, as the boss said, and uh, th that's why it was very difficult. We were in, um, not in a very good position for the second leg. So yeah, we want to uh, keep all our chances uh, for the second leg, and obviously, if we can uh, win this game. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to play this game and I'm not um, worried about anything. And then, just um, about Lionel Messi, I know you talk about all of the front three, but um, he's never scored against Petr Cech and you know Cech loves his milestones. How much confidence do you think that will give him and how much confidence does it give you? I hope uh, that will uh, give Peter Cech a lot of confidence and that will keep him quiet. You know, I remember we played the Champions League final against uh, Barcelona in 2006 and uh, he was injured at the time and couldn't play the, the final. So that's where he started already to have a reputation. So that's 10 years later. So it's uh, remarkable what he has achieved between 2006 and, uh, and now. But. Uh, I hope that Peter Cech, uh, he will have a little complex tomorrow and that uh, the history play for us and, uh, and against him. Okay. Is there any possibility <coughs> that David Ospina plays again for uh, the Champions League? Tomorrow? <laughs> yes, it's a possibility that he plays again, but uh, tomorrow Peter Cech will start the game. Champions League outing was another pressure occasion, a different pressure against Olympiacos to get through this group. You had a, a, a great performance, a strong team performance. When you come back to Europe now, is that a psychology? Are you kind of trying to remember that game and how you all performed on that game? Yeah, obviously it's, uh, it was a great uh, team performance and uh, it was a nice uh, memory. Uh, we will, uh, yeah, we will think about uh, the determination, the commitment, uh, resilientness. Maybe we we've put in this game, and uh, obviously we will need it tomorrow, uh, even more because Barcelona will uh, will have more the ball. So uh, we need to to be very stronger all together and show. Uh, uh, a big uh, mental strength, and that, that's that's it. After, yeah, we um, we um, we want to play, and yeah, don't forget to play our game and uh, be efficient as uh, as we can. Bayern Munich did come to the Emirates on a nine-match winning streak. Arsenal can go and intimidate intimidate this Barcelona side, can't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you say again, please? Sorry. Bayern Munich came to the Emirates yeah. on a nine-match winning streak. They've been unbeaten in the Premier mm -hmm. League. Mm -hmm. Your chances were written off. You should beware the underdog. Arsenal can intimidate, can't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we we would love to uh, to beat them because uh, they look uh, unstoppable. But. Uh, yeah, in playing uh, our best game and all um, together at 100%, of course, uh, otherwise uh, we're not going to play this game and we say yes, we're going to lose it. So yeah, we are we are confident, we need to be confident and play uh, our Arsenal way and after we'll, um, we'll see, but um, yeah, we, um, we, did, we did well against Munich, 
we know that we can beat uh, big teams but uh, there is uh, one thing for sure that uh, we need to be all a hundred percent and all determined determined sorry awesome the last four or five seasons you have been in a run of tough draw in this round do you think this the, the, the confidence of the player and what's the difference this season for your team they can like help them to qualify well we can show that we have learned you know uh, uh, last year we were favourites in our home game and I think against Monaco it's the biggest uh, upset uh, that we have known in the recent years after all the other games was games where we I think a bit uh, had dodgy start we didn't start well the game and paid for it and uh, some of the games we played 10 against 11 of course uh, when it is nearly impossible against team of that calibre so tomorrow we need to find a good mixture between commitment and as well uh, keeping our nerves and discipline, you know, control, no stupid fouls, uh, no stupid uh, red card like it happened uh, before. We have to show that we can have a controlled and uh, committed attitude. Thierry Henry has said that to eliminate them, we would sacrifice the game of possession and attack. Bah écoutez, euh, c'est l'opinion partagée par l'ensemble des gens que on aurait moins de possession que le Barça. Je pense pas que ce soit qu'il faille être un super philosophe pour le savoir et que le Barça est favori. Euh, oui, évidemment, euh, ils sont favoris. Moi, je, personnellement, je pense que euh, c'est nous qui allons passer. Mais bon, euh, je sais que mon opinion va à l'encontre de tous les pronostics. Bah, J'ai déjà répondu à votre collègue anglaise tout à l'heure, c'est très excitant, je suis vraiment impatient de jouer ce match, bien sûr il y aura un petit peu de, de pression mais nous on aime ça et, et, euh, et on a l'habitude d'évoluer avec, on est des, des footballeurs professionnels et on, on a assumé ce genre de... Bah, de rendez-vous, euh, on, on fait ce métier pour jouer ce genre de match aussi. Donc euh, oui, c'est plus de l'excitation. Euh, mais bien sûr, pour rester dedans et être très concentré, il faudra un petit peu de pression. Mais 